the question I want to ask today is about the Kentucky Senate race and will Amy McGrath win that race? I just had the chariot card pop out, which is positive. But let's just see. Let's see. Let's ask Katero, will Amy McGrath win the Kentucky Senate race? Well, we've got another one popping out. Five of Pentacles. That's disappointment. So, Temperance, the death card, King of Cups, and Princess of Swords. So we have the Temperance card. And that to me looks like having to weigh something big against a bunch of small things. Maybe you have to be careful with all the little details to get to this big thing. And then this the death card is a transformation or a huge change. The King of Cups, this usually is a person. Somebody with a lot of emotional intelligence. And, and a male, usually. And then the Princess of Swords. There's some kind of news or information or a message. Let's do another row. Seven of Wands. Standing up for your beliefs or protecting others or as you would in a in a political race expressing your opinions and standing strongly by them heartbreak or disappointment over a change something changes and it brings disappointment two of swords not being able to make a decision or being stuck or not wanting not wanting to make a decision and then five of pen there's that five of pentacles again that came out earlier disappointment right now it's not looking real good let's see seven of pentacles 
this is looking at how far you've come so far and making a decision on as to whether or not you want to continue on that same path. The Emperor. This is an interesting card because it's usually somebody very much in charge of a situation, but it looks like it looks like there's another set of hands on this on this particular emperor, which you don't normally see, like somebody else is in control. The devil, wow. Right under the not being able to make a decision card. And then the last one is the five of wands, which is is a arguing sometimes needlessly a struggle I'm gonna do one more row here four of swords taking a rest king of swords this is almost like the Justice card, but somebody who comes in with some news and is very um, truthful but not emotional about it. Two of Wands. The beginning of a journey or trying to, trying to make that decision, picking a direction. And then lastly is the Ace of Cups. So it looks like the Ace of Cups is usually a sign of getting what you wanted and or something that makes you very happy Honestly, don't know what direction this go is going in. It just really depends on if this is really what she wants. I would say if she really wants it, really, really wants it, then she can she can get it. But there's going to be some really tough decisions she's going to have to make, or a direction that she's going to have to choose a road she's going to have to travel that's going to be perilous. Also, some sort of a change, some major change, some major change happens very early in her campaign, either to her or to her opponent. That involves disappointment. And someone powerful, but who's controlled by other forces. And then something, a new truth is revealed. A big new truth is revealed.
Yeah, it's kind of early to tell. Maybe I'll do another one of these later on as it gets further along. But I'm going to stick with it. really depends on how badly she wants it as to whether or not she gets it. There may be something else that happens that makes her change her mind about running. I don't see a going away card or giving up. I see her continuing to fight for it. But it's going to cost a lot of money. So, so we'll see.